Hello my friends and channel subscribers, Greg here from Brisbane, Australia with another uncut, unedited, no bull video. Today is the last video from a series that I created that I named I'm 45. I'm 45 years old and I came to the point where I'm very happy with my nutrition, health, everything go around me and the best thing I can do to improve all of it is share with you guys and make maybe someone happier happier and help you to achieve goals that you achieve so just to recap what was uh filmed so far the first video was just uh, global i'm 45 and my journey then i was talking about sleep then i was talking about breakfast lunch dinner exercise the video that i call uh, gym gym because we all associate for some reason exercise with uh, gym or gymnasium today i would like to talk about snacks and before i start just a quick reminder that everything that i talk about uh, will be in description of, of this video down below so i uh, try also to space throughout the video cards on top uh, which will point on the first, second, third, fourth and fifth parts. So if you finish watching and you can return, you can easily click on the card or you can look at my uh, channel recorded videos and um, find them there. Also, please ask away questions. The whole purpose of this video, I'm not sponsored by anyone. I'm not promoting any products. The whole purpose of this video is to instigate conversation because my um, viewers base is not as big. I'm not doing any live videos to answer your questions um, uh, directly. So the only mechanisms for me right now right now is to answer questions on the comments down below so please comment let's talk about snacks what is the best snack and when to take them um, you know the answer is obvious when you feel hungry and that's not a meal time you snack right well um, wrong I don't know how we came up with snacking and now we've got the whole industrial move about snacking, healthy snacks, small snacks, snacks on the go, nutritious snacks, protein bars, and all of that stuff. If you truly would like to master your health, if you truly would like to be metabolically healthy, snack literally is the worst thing that you can do to your body from many different perspectives. Let's start from perspective that I don't believe in and uh, there will be probably a separate video why I don't believe in is calories, right? Even if you stick into your diet, which is I don't believe in diets either. I believe in nutritious, healthy, tasty eating, right? But let's say you're on a diet and you're restricting yourself and it's, you know, it's your thing you most likely will feel hungry why because diet means restriction restriction means your body will ask for more and then you start looking for what i said first cracks in your system is how do i patch my approach to what i do without stopping the diet you start looking for healthy snacking there are no healthy snacks We've got nutrition that consists of carbohydrates, proteins, and fats. And the problem how we store fat and how we become unhealthy, uh, as a first step, is um, amount of glucose that's free-float in our, in our body. And the only way to get the glucose out of our body is pancreas will secrete insulin and insulin will bring it down by storing glucose as a fat right so any snack that would have carbohydrates will trigger it immediately that's the worst snack to have so if you're hungry the worst snack you can have is i'm sorry but it's a piece of fruit i'm not against fruit but fruit need to be eaten as your dessert after your breakfast lunch dinner ideally not dinner but let's say 
uh, you eat fruit, eat it straight after meal. Do not snack with fruit. It will trigger uh, uh, glucose in the bloodstream. It will trigger insulin secretion and everything that you eat will be stored as fat. The second most common protein is protein bars. And many people are excited about them. Not many people know what happens when you ingest protein, right? There's nothing wrong with protein for body that requires growth, that the body that is exercised, the body is under some sort of strain. Majority of us, we sit at home like me in an office chair and we do work. Even if we go outside and do some work, we're not tearing muscles, we're not require as much of rebuild, we're not put ourselves under enormous stress and we can get enough protein from a diet. When you overdo proteins, the proteins in your body will be broken down in amino acids that will be broken down and created in glucose in the bloodstream and not as significant as carbohydrates, but majority of the protein, if you don't need it, it will be stored as fat. Yes, there are benefits of the ingesting protein. Protein is very expensive commodity for the body. It takes more energy to break down protein that body can get from protein. However, when it's broken to amino acids, it's much easier and it's going straight to glucose. Be careful with protein. It has calories, you don't need it, and it's a bad way to snack. And the third one is fat. There's no many fat snacks. And even those, what people call fat bombs that they create, they would have in them carbohydrates and proteins. And if not uh, carbohydrates, just proteins. Every time you eat something, you trigger insulin response. The ideal way to get your metabolic health in check, is start intermittently eating. Or what people say, intermittently fasting. I'm not actually a big fan of intermittently fasting because I eat when I'm hungry. And because if you are metabolically healthy, you're not hungry majority of the time. And if you're hungry, I suggest just take a shot of apple cider vinegar. Those calories that in apple cider vinegar that's so insignificant, the process of apple cider vinegar will be taken care of. The, the benefits are phenomenal. You're fixing up alkalinity of your stomach. You're creating a really good gut uh, flora. And also, if you got any spike of insulin, apple cider vinegar will take care of that. Also, as a side effect, it uh, dampens your appetite. It actually makes you not hungry anymore. So when you're not eating, body doesn't have choice, but will go and tap into deposits already there. Every time you eat, just remember, we are lazy. Our body lazy. Our brain is lazy. We create shortcuts. So if body can do something to do very little, it will do. So if you give body energy all the time, it will consume it. What it's not consuming, it will store. It would not go voluntarily and tap into reserves, right? So it can only do so when you're not eating. Every time you put something in your mouth, you stop the process of losing fat. If this is important to you, I would still suggest when you don't snack, focus on your metabolic health or on your metabolic flexibility. That means you are food independent. That means you control your weight, not weight controls you. You control your energy, not energy controls you. Because when you eat carbohydrates, when you spike that glucose and insulin dampens it down, it goes below uh, what I call maintenance or homeostasis, homeostasis line. And when it dips down, that's where you feel out of energy. That's where you feel hungry. And you're not really hungry, you're not out of energy. Your body just requires another, you know, very cheap injection of energy. And it's nothing to do that you lack in that energy. So, Everyone, please, if you come here to listen and hear what best snack to consume, the best snack is no snack. How do you work into that um, 
feeling that you don't need to snack anymore, apple cider vinegar, enough electrolytes, and start eating nutritious food. Food that it takes long time to break down, does not spike your insulin. Uh, try to reduce your carbohydrates close to zero or almost close to zero. Protein and fat very hard to break down and because it takes long time. The satiety will stay for a long time. So if you eat one decent quality meal, it may take the whole day for body to just realize that it's working and working and working and breaking it down. And at the end of the day, you're still not hungry. And this is when you're going to sleep. And you cannot be hungry during your sleep because if you're metabolically healthy and your glucose levels are all right, you will be sleeping through the night without digestion. You will be recovering. That's the benefit of no snacking. Well, in this particular note, I would like to finish my series. I am 45. Thank you so much for watching. If you didn't see my other videos in the series, feel free to go through the channel or click on the cards that I posted above through the video. And if you have any questions, if you would like me to create a video um, about anything else, please let me know. I also may try to create video in Russian. That's another language that I speak uh, to help people that don't quite understand English well. For now, thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channels, please like it and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future video. Thank you so much for watching. Greg from Brisbane, Australia.